Hey guys, what's up, what's up, what's up? Hey, this is just Willie Stimmage, and you are listening to the Willie Stimmage Podcast. Well, we are taking care of the Mid-State League Weekly this week, uh, covering Harvest Preparatory School Athletics. We keep you posted, give you the scores, stats, updates on all things, and get you caught up on all things Harvest Prep. Uh, follow us on social media. On Twitter, MSL Weekly, on Facebook.com slash MSL Weekly. Hit me up on the Instagram at Willie Stimmage Photography. Uh, simply drop me an email at info for Willie at gmail.com. First segment, we're talking all things Harvest Prep. Uh, second segment, we uh, give you the scores and updates around the league. And then at the third segment, we'll be finishing strong at the rim to close out this show. Hey, guys, thank you for jumping on board. My name is Willie Stimmage. And, uh, we're going to get right into it, but for, for, before we get into it, let's uh, take it to the quick uh, high school break, uh, and we'll be right back. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in Ohio. This is sportsmanship. School sports. It's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the Ohio High School Athletic Association and the Ohio Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Okay, guys, thank you for jumping back on board. Uh, my name is Willie Stimmons. Hey, how you guys doing out there? I know it's late, but we try to get this in on a Sunday night, so... Uh, you only got me for like a short, uh, maybe going to be like 15, 20 minutes. So we just go talk all things Harvest Prep. Hey, guys, the guys come out on top Friday night. Uh, they defeated Mifflin 52-14. It's kind of like a rematch of last year when Mifflin got the upper hand on us. But uh, Prep came back and just uh, won this game. Dom- I-, I wouldn't say it was dominant, but they really put their feet on the, on the, on the pedal. You know, You know what I mean? When I look at dominant performance, I look at like Ohio State being people seventy two to whatever, you know, those you know. But they, they did dominate this game. I mean, uh basically it was Daquan and Kaitlin, man, these dudes uh stepping their game up. So uh so with that being get said, we're gonna just go get right into it. Uh Harvest Prep uh started this party out in the first quarter. I say about eleven minutes ago, uh Harvest Prep Daquan Owens Johnson uh, with a 70-yard rushing touchdown, which made it Harvest Prep 6, Mifflin nothing, no extra point on it. And then in the first quarter with five minutes ago, uh, Harvest Prep uh, scored on a 50, 52-yard fumble recovery, uh, which made it 12 nothing Harvest Prep over Mifflin. And Kalen Jackson rushed for a two-point conversion, which made the score 14 nothing. Uh, still in the first quarter, uh, two minutes to go. Mifflin Tavon Tavon Scales, I guess that's his name, uh, with a 52-yard rushing touchdown, which uh, put Mifflin on the board, uh, 14-6. <clears throat> and then uh, that was the end of the first quarter, which just scored 14-6. In the second quarter, uh, kind of dying down at about the nine-minute mark, uh, Kalen Jackson with a 15-yard rushing touchdown, which made Harvest Prep 20, Mifflin 6. And then uh, Daquan Owens uh, with the rushed on the two-point conversion, which made it Harvest Prep 22, Mifflin 6. Still in the second quarter with nine minutes to go, uh, Daquan Owens Johnson with a 30-yard rushing touchdown, which made it Harvest Prep 28, Mifflin 6. And then Kalen Jackson with the two-point conversion, uh, Harvest Prep 30, uh, Mifflin 6. Still in the second quarter, I think late, about four minutes to go in the second quarter. Uh, I guess it was Daquan with a six-yard rushing touchdown, number six, uh, which made it 36-6, to six, uh, Harvest Prep. And Kalen Jackson with the rush for a two-point conversion, which made the score 38-6. to six. It's like this thing is getting ugly uh, in the first half, 38-6. to six. Uh, and then, you know, like last year, it was really competitive. They, the guys, it was a high scoring game and the guys took it, uh, way up in the fifties, but you know, Mifflin couldn't get it going. Uh, about a minute to go in the second quarter, uh, Harvest Prep scored on a six yard rushing touchdown, which made it 44 to six. 
uh, Harvest Prep on Mifflin, and then uh, uh, that was a pass completed to Jalen Davis for the two-point conversion, which made it Harvest Prep 46, Mifflin 6. And that brings you to the halftime uh, score, which is Harvest Prep 46, Mifflin 6. Uh, third quarter, uh, I didn't record any kind of action in the third quarter. I guess it was just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and nobody actually scored. So we're just going to jump into the fourth quarter. Uh, six minutes going to fourth quarter. Uh, Harvest Prep, 29-yard pass completion to number 14, Nico Sinclair, for a touchdown, uh, which made it Harvest Prep 52, Mifflin 6. And then with six minutes to go in the third in the fourth quarter, uh, Mifflin Amon Thornton with an eighty yard rushing touchdown, uh, which made it um, Harvest Prep fifty two Mifflin twelve. And then uh, Mifflin uh, completed a four a pass to, for the two point conversion, which made it uh, Harvest Prep fifty two Mifflin fourteen. And uh, I think that. That was the final score. That was the last score of that uh, quarter, which brought us down to the uh, final score of that game. Harvest Prep 52, Mifflin 14. Uh, total yards rushing. Harvest Prep uh, on the ground, they had 378 total yards. That's a lot of yards. Uh, Mifflin only had 90 total yards on the ground. Uh, rushes uh, for yards. Uh, they Mifflin rushed 24 times for 69 yards. Harvest Prep rushed uh, 50 times for 340 yards. Uh, Harvest Prep uh, first downs at 13. Mifflin only had two uh, completions. Uh, Mifflin was 13. Uh, they threw it 13 times with four completions and one touchdown. Harvest Prep uh, six throws for three completions and no touchdowns. Most of the touchdowns was like rushing touchdowns. Uh, Harvest Prep, Daquan Owens Johnson, 10 rushes for 160 yards, three touchdowns. This guy's turning up. He, he's turning up uh, his game. Uh, Jalen Jennings, uh, 13 rushes, 73 yards. He didn't score. Uh, for Mifflin, Tavon Scales, 11 completions for 64 yards and one touchdown. Uh, those are the num- uh, game by the numbers uh, for Sad for Friday's contest. So now, with that being said, uh, next up for Harvest Prep, uh, I think it's Worthington Christian at Worthington Christian Friday. And last time these teams met, Harvest Prep slammed them uh, fifty-two to three. Uh, of course, we had Danny, Dan Dan Gur and Dan rushed for 31 yards. And he scored four touchdowns on 21 carries in that game. And that game was, I was at that game. That game was called with seven minutes, 52 seconds left after one of the worthy Christian players suffered a severe injury and he had to be taken off the field. Uh, it, was, it was real tragic, and I'm not going to get into it. But yeah, that game was called with four, four minutes, uh, seven minutes and 52 seconds to go, which gave Harvest Prep the, uh, 52 to 3 victory. So, uh, but this year is a different story. Uh, this year, uh, Worthington Christian was kind of getting out for, to a little rugged start. Uh, they uh, that first game, uh, they actually won. They beat North Northeastern uh, twenty to thirteen. Michael Hartstein's had one hundred forty two rushes, uh, one hundred forty two yards rushing, and his brother Lucas Hartley. Uh, he threw it 24 times for 15 completions, 196 yard total yards, one touchdown, and one pick. Uh, game two, uh, Northmore beat these guys 48 to 26. Jake Thompson with an 80 yard, 87 yard pass was the only highlight for Worthington Christian. Uh, the third game, Pleasant uh, 40, Worthington Christian nothing. So Worthington Christian is one and two on the year. Harvest Prep is three and zero on the year. So. These teams will go at it next Friday uh, at Words and Christian. So make sure you you get there and check that contest out. Hey guys, we'll take a quick break, and when we come back, uh, we'll take you around the league and give you all the scores and updates. Uh, this is the Mid State League Weekly Podcast. My name is Willie Stimage. Harvest Preparatory School. Educating students from preschool through grade 12 with a competitive private education and a distinctly biblical worldview. 
Our faculty and staff are dedicated to teaching the mind by touching the heart. We offer a blended learning environment to meet the academic needs of all students. Our brand new Academic Research Center is equipped with the latest technology designed for the inquiry-based learner. Boasting a proven track record of excellence for over 30 years, Harvest Prep is dedicated to ensuring students fulfill the total plan of God for their lives. Our graduates have earned over $30 million in academic, merit-based, and athletic scholarships in the last decade. We offer championship athletic programs for all grade levels, led by some of Central Ohio's top coaches. As a participant of the College Credit Plus program, we provide students with the opportunity to earn college credits at the high school level. We have committed to serving the families of Central Ohio since 1986 because our passion is your child's success. We are Harvest Prep. To begin your pathway to prep, visit us online at harvestprep.org. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, this is the Miss State League Weekly uh, podcast of Willie Stimmich. And uh, let's just go around the league and uh, we give you the up- updates uh, on all the scores. Uh, let's see here. We're going to start out with uh, Fairfield Christian. Uh, <laughs> guys, hey, they, they, they got pounded by North Union 72 to 3. Uh, Ethan Young had five rushes for North Union for 149 yards. Tavar Morgan Morin had six rushes for 129 yards, and that's a lot of yards between the two two guys here. Uh, Anthony Padovania, I guess how you pronounce it, two attempts, two completions for 80 yards. He must do two 40 yard bombs. Uh, he only threw two times for two completes for 80 yards. Uh, the only highlight for Fairfield Christian was Colin Han- Handler with a six-yard run and an a, a extra point. And that's how they got these seven points. But 72-7 to seven is is uh, kind of painful. <laughs> Moving right along. Grove City Christian turned up this weekend 43 to nothing over Jefferson Township. Um, Franklin Heights. They kind of beat the brakes off of uh, uh, Bishop Rosecrans, 70-26. Wow. <laughs> Man, that's a, that's a lot. These guys are putting up numbers. Uh, another contest, Burn Union uh, escaped a loss with a late touchdown, which made it 6 to nothing over Newcomers Town. And uh, they missed the field goal, not the field goal, extra point, but that's how they got these six points. Uh, they, 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 this is a tight game, a scoreless game throughout the whole game. Uh, moving right along, Fisher Catholic, 35, uh, Rainy Sports Academy, 7. It was another name for that school, I don't know, but Fisher Catholic won, 35 to 7. Uh, Pleasant, 40, Worthington Christian, 0. And this is the Worthington Christian we're playing next week. And so they didn't even score in this game. So, uh. You know, they better come play next week because you know, Harvest Prep is on the road. You know, and then again, I always say you you can't take no team lightly. I don't care. It was Worthy the Christian, Grove City Christian, and I know you know lately like last year we you know uh, just can't take no team lightly, man. Any team can beat you on any given day. You just got to you know take the game serious, play your game, and uh, you know and come out with the victory. So you know. Those are your scores uh, from around the Mid-State League. We'll take another quick break, guys. we come back, we're going to finish strong at the rim. We're going to wrap it up. This is the Mid-State League Weekly. My name is Willie Stimmage. I drink chocolate milk. Studies show that chocolate milk is the best beverage to replenish muscles after exercise. Its unique package combines protein, carbohydrates, and electrolytes to refresh tired muscles. Drink 16 ounces after exercise to replace fluid loss and maintain your hydration. Chocolate milk is a great tasting carbohydrate source to refuel your body. Not all sports drinks are created equal. Your body deserves it. Okay, guys, we're back. Uh, This is the last segment here, so we're going to just finish strong around the rim. 
Uh, this is the Miss Daily Weekly. My name is Willie Stemmers, and let's uh, get right into it. Uh, here are your Mid State League Cardinal Division standings as of right now. Uh, don't have the conference standings, but I well, yeah, no, well, I don't have the conference standings. But overall, Harvest Prep is three and zero, but Fisher Catholic is three and zero too. So they are right behind Harvest Prep. Grove City Christian is two and one. You know they come out a little better this year. Last year they was really struggling. Rosecrans is twenty and one. Bishop Rosecrans. Uh, Burn Union is two, two and one. I'm sorry. Rosecrans is two and one. Well, you got four teams that are two and one. Grove City Christian is third, two and one. Bishop Rosecrans is third, two and one. Burn Union is third. Four, I mean fifth. I'm sorry, two and one. So you got uh, Grove City. Bishop Rosecrans and Burn Union, three, four, and five in the Miss State League Cardinal. Words of the Christian is one and two. Uh, and Fairfield Christian is 0 and three, rounding out the bottom. Uh, don't see Millersport in here. Anybody got any updates on Millersport? Email me at info for at gmail.com. I'm just, I want to know what's going on with that school. Do they have a football team? Uh, are they in existence? I mean,. I did my research. I'm searching. Uh, are they playing anybody? I mean, what's the deal? So, uh, just you know, if you could help me out on that, I'll you know, I'll stop talking about them. But I, they, they're in the Miss State League, so you have to do what you got to do, you know, to get some updates on them. Hey guys, that's a wrap uh, for tonight. Uh, first of all, let me thank. Uh, Jerry Snodgrass, which is the executive director of the OSHAA. And I want to thank Tim Street, uh, director of communications, uh, for giving me the opportunity to bring a podcast and um, allow me to be a part of the uh, Ohio Prep Sports Writers Association. Thank you, guys. I want to thank uh, Harvest Prep Athletic, uh, Mr. Dave Wolf and uh, Coach Dave Dennis. We uh, thank you, guys. Uh, I want to uh, thank you, the listening audience, and uh, if you missed any one of these uh, shows, uh, this podcast, you can always recap it on YouTube, SoundCloud, Twitter. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know if it's getting to Facebook. I know it, it should be, but uh, you can get it up on Facebook, too. So, uh, yeah, that's, I mean, I, th- I think it is. Uh, I have to check, but uh, if you go to my Facebook page, uh, you should be able to find it. I think I think you should be able to find it. So with that being said, guys, thank you guys once again. Uh, uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for listening. Uh, my name is Willie Stimmich. Uh, I want you guys to have a great week. It's been raining all this weekend, so uh, hope that rain chills. <laughs> so with that being said, guys, hey, guys, I got two fingers up. That means peace. I'm out.